A nigga club out shenanigans on deck. Nigga, you crazy? Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. So, so wait, what? All right. Hey, Wax, have you had a chance to watch um, or do you even entertain Jaguar Wright? I, I always hear her name. I really don't know too much about her, but I guess she be saying a bunch of shit. Yeah, she's a former um, singer. Uh, she did, I think, uh, music with Raphael Sadiq, or maybe I got the wrong guy, but... Um, what you be talking about? Diddy all the time? Or? She talk about she, a she lot talks, of people. Yeah, she talks, she discusses the industry from her experience, her depth of knowing people, different relationships, and this recent interview she did is crazy, like, she was, was putting things together I ain't never even thought of. Like, she was saying shit like, Usher is the reason why Justin Bieber in the situation he's in. Not changing the subject, y'all. I just want Wax to check that out because that shit was crazy. No, go ahead, bro. You know she be yeah. on here, Wax. She be but on here. She was that, uh, I am wrong. Still Yeah, that's I am friend. We should get her on. Oh, okay. Remember yeah, for his birthday, right. she was I'm there for his birthday right. before I came in and started playing a playlist for him. So she was here. So they pretty I much see her. her like a, um, like a crazy lady. You know, motherfuckers that come out with the truth and be and be spilling too much tea, and it's hard to believe they get labeled crazy. So that's how she's been getting labeled with numerous interviews. Um, this re one recently, now that you know Diddy has been, you know, allegedly well, what is it to her? Like, is she? What is it to her? Like, so she's like a cat. She's like a female version of Cat Williams. Like, you know, things that you may think that she's crazy, but after a few years. Some, some of those stuff has validity out. to it. Like That makes sense. It, well, it sounded like she knew exactly what she was talking about. Because so remember, Cat Williams said the same thing about this year. Remember when he did Shannon Sharp? He said all of those pedals, all of that stuff going to come out in 2024. He said that in that interview. And all of this shit coming out. Yeah. She started putting uh, uh, connections together that I didn't even think about. So, you know, you got to kind of like look into that. But... She was putting shit together like, you know, Usher was kind of like putting that position, which we all assumed that he was violated. But then don't feel sorry for him because he did the same thing to that white boy. That's why he gave 48 hours temporary custody to Diddy. And she just be going in. She was Wait, hold talking on. about what the... Did he did what to what white boy? Justin Bieber. He did, how did Usher do something to the white boy? He left him... Basically, she's trying to say, this is why she, she can come off a little wild. Um, she's trying to say like Usher was a very young kid and all the rumors going around him we you know us personally we don't know these are not her words verbatim but she's basically saying like the alleged rumors we hear about Usher then Usher discovered Justin Bieber brought him no. into the scene got custody of him like a, a, a guardianship of him because he had him on the road and was mentoring him um, once he got him to a point in his not in his career but like just working with him he had gave 48 hours custody to uh, Diddy and that's when you see them videos of Diddy and Justin in like kind of like the like forest looking woods kind of like backyard like kind of spot and um, if she was just like putting like doubt in your head like and she talks about it in a way where it's like she knows something that we don't know and that's why what Nadi followed up with is kind of like what I was saying like people look at her crazy because she be talking so much and spilling so much tea that you gonna fuck around and think like is this a possibility and then something comes out months or a year later and you like damn that lady said that so she be like kind of waking up a lot of shit she talk about common um her relationship with well, in that same common how you like white men he, a little, he got a little short ass little thing thing uh she talked no. about how usher she yeah. She talked about how she believes Usher replaced his, like he didn't have to get fucked no more. And then like, she be saying wow shit. And she said, that's why he put that little boy in place. And now we see like how Justin Bieber moving, how he acting and all that. Yeah, um, but when you get to saying dumb shit like that. Yeah, she be, she be <laughs> saying so Fuck. much wow shit. Conspiracy shit. Hey, all that conspiracy, conspiracy shit. Cause I'm saying, who who was the bitch in the industry? Let's start right there. Who was? So she? she was a singer. She sung a few songs. Kind of gave like a Jill Scott kind of vibe. She said Jill Scott kind of like stole her vibe. So, like so, okay, all music. that's cool. So she was mm -hmm. around all these people when she was a D-list singer. Yeah, basically. <laughs> what she looked like? The bitch bad? Uh, no, she's not. She's like okay. a bitch. 
Okay, well, I'm trying to understand where all this coming from. She not, she not bad at all. Um, no, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. trying to figure out. Yeah, I brought it up to ask you, do you know about her and have you seen her interview? She mad because she used to mess with Big L and she think they have something to do with him. I'm going to just hit the um, chat and I'm going to drop the link in the chat so you can uh, have the link. She has something to do with Big L. That's yeah. her whole reason. I'm telling you, Wack. Everything come back to Big yeah, L. I don't feed all Everybody people. know what happened to Big L. No. I just don't feed off into something. Like, who is the broad to know what whatever she says she know? You coming with your conspiracy, that's cool. But now you talking about Justin Bieber and Usher did this to Justin Bieber and this is the real come on, man. No, she didn't say well, she didn't say he did anything to him. She's saying like she he 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 put he Yeah, like you just got I put it I put the link in the morning show chat. He groomed him to what? To be a superstar? Yeah, so uh, basically they're just trying to star, oh, no. but he also exposed him to uh what we are calling a, a alleged predator, did he? So he he's exposed him to the industry. The industry. Yeah, yeah the industry. What the fuck are you talking about? Like <laughs> Hey, well, what Usher is he said, talking about? No, I think no, I understand what Wack is saying. You're absolutely yeah. correct. Usher Usher also stated like there are some things that when I was younger, it wasn't supposed to be some things that I should have seen at the time, but that is just the industry. So Usher also said that, like, when I was younger, I seen shit I wasn't supposed to see. He never said it was no, no sex trafficking or nothing like that. He was just basically saying, like, the industry be going. He wasn't putting kind of words crazy. in Usher's mouth like he said this, he did that. No, it's none of that. It's her speculation and her ties to the industry that makes it intriguing. But stop. No, no. That's where right there. And interesting what to listen to, but who was she you, signed to? Huh? Who was she signed, signed to? Her? Justin Bieber was signed to Usher. We all look. We not worried about that. That's how oh. that go in that circle. Oh, okay. But who was like? He get a little a youngster and make him a mm -hmm. superstar. He put him through the same system that ninety percent of these people been through. What the fuck that got to do with what? Well, that was just one well, of the points. Yeah, it was really nothing to. Um, it's really nothing to latch on to. It's more so me telling you, like, I was just asking if you knew about that lady because she buzzing like crazy, like her interview is going crazy on the on the net right now. That's why I have brought it up. And then I gave you some some kind of like points of things that she likes to discuss. Who is or talk she about. signed to? I don't think she signed to nobody. Who was she signed to? Hold on, let me get it. She had a hit. Like what? She used to be with the root. Uh, yeah, right. she she did. The roots. Big Pimp there you go. The roots. Yeah, she roots. She did a hard knock life album. She did a few songs with the. She did wait. Hold on. Hold on. So she did what on Jay? Hold on. Let me see. She did what on Jay? Background singing. Yeah, I did a, a little bit. writer. She background singing. Oh man, she... get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just cracked up. Hey, what? <laughs> she worked with the roots, Jay Z, and um. Um, and she also acted in underground team. To what uh, capacity? Background singing. With. It says she said background singing for Jay Z in, in um, 2001. She did a, a in, MTV unplug. She worked with the Roots in 1998. Yeah. Okay. To what capacity did you bring the food? Did you bring the? <laughs> she blunt? was a background singer. Did she get her stove. own album? She was a fail um, writer. She was a what writer? Failed writer. No, a film writer, like working on film. Failed. He said failed. Oh, okay. okay. Proof is in the I need a big mic. My bad. Whack. When you look at Jaguar, right, it's gonna be in the same vein of Orlando and uh, Orlando Brown. Well, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, Thank that's what you. I'm saying. That's perfect. Yeah. Thank you, DB. Yeah. She get labeled crazy. As Wait, hell, but I, I never said that Jaguar Wright was, was, was not an incredible like, singer. I do like one of her songs. I oh, so I do like the song called Free. She did sing that. I live for that song. That was on um um VH1 Soul. I live for that song, so not too much on me. Thank you. In the chat. She has a beautiful she voice. Do. She was a great, she was a great singer back in the days, but she just life didn't well for her and this has been her biggest career move is telling all these wild stories on people's couch. DBS, did yeah. she come out before Jill Scott? <laughs> yeah, I think she did. Uh, right, I got she her said that Jill Scott kind of stole her style. It was that Neo Soul style. 
I think everybody was kind of doing that at that time. The he came out hat, saying, hat. Yeah, about Erica Badu, Jill Scott. They all kind of came out around the same time. She just didn't blow up. Yeah, her music isn't her claim to fame. It's like her stories are her claim to fame. Oh, like Boosie. Got it. Boosie got you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was being shady. Leave me alone. Boosie got music. What you mean? I think when I was trying to like correlate, meaning that yes, he has music, but however, I think people he's more famous due to the stuff that he be saying now, not his music. People like, only listening to what he say because of who his music, what his music was. Okay. He got um, famous through his music. I don't think the internet was really around before he went to the pen. Right. It ain't like he got out and got, everybody knew who Boosie was. Now with her, she's getting her name from what she's saying. But she was kind of like an independent lady. And a lot of it be like dicey, the shit she be saying, like it's really outrageous. She's just trying to go viral. Actually, she's an actress, or is it there's an actress named Jaguar, right? Oh, more than 77. <clears throat> That's her. Her son was murdered. She went to jail. Damn. Property theft. What did Jaguar Wright shoot? She was married. She was married to Samuel Odom. Ooh, that's my song. <clears throat> uh, R&B, I'm still standing, sis. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. <yet. laughs> <laughs> That's my song though. I feel friendly. That's my theme song, girl. That's my theme song. Okay. Feel the same. Period. Period. We don't fall for no how. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't listening. I ain't listening. That dream shit gave me so much satisfaction today. That nigga, it been like four, five days at least. This nigga.